coming back to this, this is a, if it is self-employment, okay, it is, it is, it's a very specific, simple, and if people are having the same concept we are going to cover, but if, if you are having it, how you are going to have a self-employment, how it is going to be accounted, okay? Now, the, what are the things we are going to cover? Is that the, it is with respect to the assessment of self-employment and describe and apply batches of trade. This is something new, okay? Something new. Wherever it is there, I will let you know in advance, okay? Recognize the expenditure that is allowable, which, which expenditure we can deduct. Allowable in calculating tax-adjusted trading profit. The things which we have done in the previous cases, the same thing will, will be there. Only thing is a self-employment income concept will be added. Other things will remain, all the rules will remain same. Okay. Now, how we are going to ha have the accessible profits using the cash for basis for small businesses. Is it? There is one concept which is going to be likely to be there which is going to be called it as on the cash basis for small businesses. Recognize the relief which can be obtained for pre-trading expense leases. See what will happen before you started, uh, before you start the business, before you, you tra start trading, there will be some expenditure will be there. How we have to trade that expenditure, okay? Again, I am repeating, the concepts will remain same, only a part of things will be added. What, what, what are the new things which are going to learn is you will have something called as capital gains. Okay, capital gains. Is that, this is the only thing. Capital gain is nothing but as simple as that you have done uh, uh, where it has been done. No infinite, no finite. Capital gain is nothing but you have, if you are, are um, investing more than for one year and if you are going to sell it off, that has to be treated separately. Okay, we have few things to be noted here. Is that we are talking in terms of badges, badges, okay, of trade, is that which leads to capital gain. You will have a trading income which leads to pre trading expenditure, and you have adjustment of profits due to with respect to cash basis. Okay, little bit very specifically. Whatever we have learned in financial accounting, okay, paper three. Is that what is? the accounting profits? Does it they, what they say? The accounting profits of the business is prepared according to the gap. Okay, general account accepted accounting principle policy, with generally with either generally determine the tax treatment on certain key items of revenue. See what we are doing. We are preparing the profit and loss account statement of profit and loss account. There we are talking about the tax. Again. Is that little bit think about how how we are going to determine the tax, how we are going to reflect the tax that is going to be tax paid during the year. Is that tax paid during the year? If you see the cash flow statement, what we have done in the cash flow statement, we will prepare a T account or a statement form. We take the opening balance of cash, closing balance of the cash, profit and loss account, and the balancing figure is the tax paid. Okay, that what we have to think over it. Your knowledge gain in financial accounting for business is therefore fundamental importance when it comes to when it comes to establishing the basis on which the profits are to be taxed. Is that a simple basic? The, see now they will give you a lot of information. Now you understand that the information is more, the calculation part is less, the alt, the final judgment is we have to understand the we have to understand the multiple choice questions. Is that this is the secret of success? Okay, the profits of unincorporated trader. Is an unincorporated trader, which means it is not listed, it is not recognized, it is not registered. Is that from a trade profession or vocation or taxed as a trading income? See what happens in most of the countries, especially everything will be a bank transfer. Okay, every 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 amount will be a bank transfer. Automatically, you will get into the thing. How much is your income? We are going to have. Is it right? Income is, is going to be determined how much you are going to, how much you have received, 
through the bank. Nobody will have a cash basis as a cash transaction. Individuals of uncorporate business are usually referred as self-employed or sole traders. The unincorporated business means see unincorporated means what? See how it is a land license. See, registered is different, registration is different, licensing is different. Okay. Registration is different, licensing. You can register, but you don't have the license. Okay. Then what will happen? You you are not legally entitled to do the business which you don't have the license. What is the basis of assessment for the tax year up to 22-23 profits on the ongoing business on the current year basis? We use a we, we use something called a CYB. Is it current year basis? The profits of the ongoing business are taxed on the current year. That is the profits tax in a particular tax year what those of the 12 month accounting period ending in that tax year. Yeah, 12 month accounting period. Is that any tax year is different? Accounting year is different. Okay. Initially, just, just keep it in mind. We have to be very clear about the CYB current year basis. This is what, this is, it is related to 22-23. For the year 23-24, here they have given four, three different years, okay? Transitional rule supply, see, basis, is that, this is for the ongoing business, is it? For the tax year 22-3-24, there are special rules for transitional profits. Any business where accounting period is not aligned with the tax year. See the thing, what those with a, see, what happens, ending, the accounting period ending in that tax year, is that the accounting period, the accounting period, accounting period of 12 months, okay, ending in that tax year, it means by, it will be ending by the 5th April, okay, little bit initially, it is little bit take time to understand this, okay, now what happens, in the second year, from the year 23-24 onwards, transitional rules apply, special rules. What are the special rules? Any business where the accounting year is not aligned, we are not following the, see, what will happen? Accounting year, accounting year will be ending on 31st December. Tax year will be there for 5th April. Tax year is different, accounting is different. What they are saying, again they are very, very clear. These rules are not examinable in tax exam. For the, is it right? For the following, your tax year for miss, it is not going to be there. Are you clear about this? So make sure, is that I am putting with, with something with red, okay? Something with red, okay? Fine. For tax year 24-25 onwards, is it? The profits onwards, the profits of uncorporated will be taxed on a tax year basis. This means where accounting year end date is different from the tax year end date. Pre relevant pro accounting periods will be time apportioned to tax from the prior profits arising in the tax year. From the 24-25 onwards, okay? Again, hold it for a while. Okay, hold it for a while. Just don't come to a conclusion straight away. Is it? Don't come to a conclusion. You are only required to have awareness of the basis period reform. Okay, what they are asking, we should have only require awareness. Okay, we should have the understanding. That's all. Tra tra uh, and that transnational profits will be taxed in the future. In TX exam, businessmen will always have an accounting period ending on 5th April or 31st March in questions where you are required to calculate accessible profit. They are, they are saying very clearly, they are not going to put you in a, any confusion as such. The rules for previous tax year including the special rules and closing rules are not examinable. The factors are influencing the accounting date are no longer relevant and will not be examined.
is it? This, this is the very clear. Now, they have mentioned what will be the examinable things and what will not be examinable things as such. Okay? Now, coming back to this. Okay? Coming back to the things where we have to take into consideration. What they have mentioned, they say, they say that the pro a sole trader prepare accounts for the year end 31st. In which tax year the profits are assessed? Is it? They are preparing on when? 31, 3, 20, 24. Is it? The, these are the profits for the year ended. For the year ended how much? For the year ended 31, 3, 20, 24. Is it? This will be assessed when? This is the profits for what? This is the profits for 31st March 2023. Means, is it? This is for the profits 2023 and 2024. Is it? This is the profits for which year? 2023 and 2024. Okay. 6th, 6th April, 6th April to 5th April. 6th April 2023 to 5th April 2024. Are you clear about this? Yes. Okay. Sixth April means okay. That 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 that's it. Batches of the is the in, is, is the individual trading. Is that is the individual trading? If the person is individual trading, the profits are treated as a trading income. Sir, if it is no. Surplus may be subject to capital gains are completely exempt from tax. Is that what is the if you are if you are doing individually? Is that they, it will be treated as a trading income? If you are not, if it is not doing individually, is that so? What happens if you are means you are doing in exceptional cases? Is it right? In exceptional cases. Is it what happened? Whatever the surplus you are having, they will be treated as a capital gains or in some cases completely exempt from tax. Okay, we will follow the rules slowly and steadily. Okay, to determine whether individual is trading, there are number of tests known as batches of trade. There are some tests are there. Okay, what, whether it is individual is trading or not. Trade includes, what is the trade include? Any venture in the nature, although the above is a statute definition of trade, in practice it is not very helpful one. When constituted trade has been reviewed, numerous times, fine, they are talking about the things, of what is the thing. These criteria should be considered as known as batches of trade. These yeah, are batches of trade. What they say here, they are talking very, very specifically and to the point, okay? The batches of trade which are used to determine activity in the nature of trade are as follows. Is that they have given the acronyms, okay? Pneumonics, okay? Minomics. Yes, so firm, fast. Is that so firm? Fast. Okay. Now, what is the little bit slowly? First time we are doing subject matter of transaction or the goods of a type normally used for trading. Means it is a normal trading business. Is it? Is it, is it a normal trading business for tra normal trading? Okay. The length of the ownership. A short period of ownership is more likely to indicate trading. See what what is the trading? Trading is only for the it will be for the less than twelve months. If you go specifically, it will be the maximum maximum three ninety days. Is that that is the length of the means you are you are you are holding the assets, you are holding the stock for a very short period. Okay, then only it will be a trading. If it is more than one year, it is not a trading as such. It is not a trade. If you have done in your financial reporting, is that right? We have done in your financial reporting. The financial reporting, what they say, 
you will come across two different concepts. One is your profit and loss account, one is other comprehensive income. If it is a trading, it will come in a profit and loss account. If it is a non-trading, it will come in a other comprehensive income. Just I am giving you some idea about the clarification. The frequency of similar transactions, frequent transactions, daily basis, okay? You see, you see the coffee shop, you see the star, you see the food stuff, okay? You see the food stuff, you see the retail shops. Those are called as a trading income. Yeah, those are called as a trading income, where it has been done very frequently. Supplementary work improvement, work performed on goods, to make them more marketable indicates trading. Presentation, okay, when we are talking on other things, what you are doing? We are doing a presentation on, on shelf space. Is it on shelf space? We are promoting also, is it? A, we are promoting, we are making, we are doing some marketing to sell the product. People, see, very simple. If I don't tell you this, you will not understand. People are there who will promote shampoos, okay? This is a trading. People are there who will promote the regular items which it is that they will promote the things which are eatables is it they will they will give samples for that means they want to that they they their concept is they are doing the marketing for the products for a short term period which will promote the trading circumstances reason for the sale a forced sales to raise cash indicates not trading a forced sale means you are pushing yourself. Is that you are giving discounts? Okay, you are giving discounts. Is that extraordinary discounts? That is not a. That is not an example of a trading. Okay, forced sale. This means you have to sell it anyway. Is it the dispositor? The intention to profit may indicate trading. What is the trading? That means your intention is to earn the profits okay these are called as so far subject matter ownership frequency improvements reason and motive okay in addition to original six these are called as six batches in original to six batches of trade income hmrc Guidance state that the following are considered for indicate for for trading purpose. What they say fast in terms of finance, okay? In terms of finance, where where what is the trading? People will take loan to buy an asset, and they want they will they will repay it after the proceeds of sale. Is it right? You are taking the finance, you buy an asset. People will take the loan for trading purpose. Method of acquisition. A taxpayer acquired the asset by way of purchase rather than receiving as a gift. You are purchasing. Is that you are purchasing the asset? If you have done the group accounts in financial reporting, you will remember the conditions when there is acquisition. Okay, existence of a similar trading where the transactions are similar to those of existing trade carried out by the taxpayer. Is that where, where, where there is a buying and selling. It is vital important to appreciate no one batch is decisive. There is no specific thing. In any set of circumstances, some batches may indicate trading, some batches may not. Is it right? There is no hard and fast one. It is overall impression taking into account all relevant factors. This is important. So for subject, subject matter, Ownership, is it right? Ownership, frequency, is it right? Frequency, uh, improvements of uh, R is uh, R is for what? R is for the uh, so for S O F I R M. Okay, uh, for sales circumstances reason is it right? Reason for R for reason and M for motive, okay? And fast is nothing but finance, acquisition, and similar trading transactions, EST.
right? No. If you if you have this, automatically things are very very specific. They they are talking about all the things in detail. I am little bit. I will go quickly. Okay. The assets should be, should be acquired for any one reason. As we are we are doing for an acquisition uh, investment. You are going for for a private use or you are going for a trading transactions. Okay. The length of the period, as a general rule, the longer the length, the longer the period acquisition, the more the transaction. So the longer the period between acquisition and disposal, it will be not treated as a trading. Okay, it is not treated as a trading. Fine, that's very important. The care must be taken. Fine. The frequency of similar transaction, by the same, as in the toilet rolls case, a single transaction regarded as trading. However, usually. Similar items are entered. The more likely we will record as a trading activity. Okay, we are talking about the taxpayer is held trading for the evidence of 200 sales purchases. Is that you say you you say see the thing? If you take the stock exchanges, they will say it is a trading. Is it? They, the purpose of trading is frequency. The purpose of trading is the ownership. The purpose is for a short period. If you take the stock exchange. The entire definition will be very easily understood. Fine. They are talking about the things frequency, how 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 the things. I think it is it is repeated again. Okay, it is repeated again. One minute. The frequency of similar transactions. The taxpayer is trading for twelve circumstances for you to hear. What circumstances? Reason for the sale? No. Is it in the ownership? It is for what we have said. The ownership. The Yeah, as a, the longer the period acquisition is not been traded. Somewhere there is some issue was there. Is it right? This is what supplementary work. Supply improvements marketing. Okay, you are you are adding some more some more activity to promote for the trading purpose. The reason for sale. The reason for sale is to earn the profits. Is it right? The forced sale should not be there. The forced sale means. Uh, an asset is sold as a con unforeseen circumstances. See, people people are leaving. They will sell the car. Okay, the people are leaving the country. What they will do? They will sell the car. That is not a trading as such. Okay, that is not a trading as such. That is called as a forced sale. The motive is if you are doing the trading, the motive behind is to the in, to make a intention with respect to profit from the transactions. Is that they may make it very very specific finances? You have you are taking the loan and you are doing the business and you are paying back the loan as such. If that is the case, it is called as a trading. You are buying an uh, buying an entity to where uh, it is much harder to argue that trade exists when an asset is acquired by gift or inheritance that the taxpayer purchases it. You have, you have to. What is the method? If somebody is giving gift, it is not a trade. Okay. If somebody is giving gift, you have to pay compensation for that. That is the that is the role of the. What is the that is the definition of the MRC giver? Is that in such cases, HMRC demonstrate that before the sale of the asset, the taxpayer has to a change of intention that the asset has become trading. Where land is developed for sale, people will take the land. Is it? They will they will mark the land. They will structure the land into different subgroups, and they will sell. Okay, that is called as a trade. Yeah, where an individual undertakes a transaction to related to his or her existing trade. It is more difficult to argue that this is not a trading. If you are, if you are already doing the business, if you are already in the business, is it? Right? And you are, you are uh, making the transactions, is it? Right? 
we cannot say it is not a trading it is part of that trading if the transaction if they, this is harder for a property developer to argue that property was acquired for investment and not trading purpose then a butcher is that what happened people will we will buy houses okay we will buy houses for rental purpose and if if you are using the houses for a long term okay long term frequency is less if you don't have frequency at all then it is going to be identified it as a non trade okay this is where we are talking about the uh, two acronyms in in substance in substance uh, we have to make sure that there should be a frequency of transaction there will be a finance involved there should be a profit motive and it is going to be have a intention to sell is it right it is it have the intention to sell that is it, that is going to be part of a trading profits as such the net profit what is the adjusting the accounting profit the net profit of financial accounts and the taxable trading profits are really same figure is that the financial what they say the financial profits and taxable trading profits will never be same the main reason is that tax does not allow tax deduction for all expenses in the accounts is a tax reason that tax does not allow tax deduction see what you will have you will give you a thing you are talking in terms of vat okay there are some pay, some products with a vat exempted okay there is some a vat exempted there are some products where we have vat is subjected either we have exempt supplies we have taxable supplies is it right we have taxable supplies is so we have to be little bit clear with respect to the accounting profits and taxable part therefore a number of adjustments need to be made to the accounting profits with the statement of profit and loss account to calculate what to calculate the taxable trading profit right there we we have to calculate the taxable trading one note that most readers must produce accounts for tax purposes using the accrual basis what does it mean what does accrual basis means any idea yeah i don't remember no accrual basis you have done in financial accounting okay yeah i took it long time you have done in financial accounting you have done in financial reporting is it the the first stage accrual is as it happens is it right as it happens is that if your sale is happening this month you have to pay tax for this month if sale is have you if you are something we have said outstanding is it outstanding is not paid is it received in advance is it received in advance is it we said this this is accrual means as it happens remember this you are an acc graduate okay you are an acc graduate. very very important accurate is that income receivables and expenses payable in respect of accounting period these rules these the rules below relate to accrual basis cash basis and accrual basis keep it in mind there are two things no no at, at the, from now onwards you should not forget okay whatever happened past okay fine there is a cash basis there is a accrual basis cash basis as it when you are paying actually then in that period of time it will be accounted accrual basis whether you have paid or you have not paid sales receivables sales happen this period, month you will receive next month but sales will be accounted for this month of only october sales will be october sales november sales will be november sales. in certain limited circumstances very small traders may choose to use cash basis we'll cover in section 8 okay now what are the adjustments keep the thing expenditure we, there are four types of adjustment need to be made to move from the accounting profit to taxable profit very 
very important and very easy also it's not difficult see expenditure with tax law prevents from being allowable deduction may be charged in the statement of profit in in the statement of profit we will deduct but for the tax purpose it is allowable okay tax what we'll do we will if we see some some cases where where there will be exemptions relief will be there okay relief you are you are paying expenses but relief will be given by the tax people when you are really relief is given to the tax people we have to add back to the accounting profit taxable trading income may not be included in profit and loss account taxable trading income okay we are not having any concept of taxable trading income in the accounting what will happen profit before tax or profit after tax is it what will happen we will have profit before tax and profit after tax this is this is the accounting approach whereas taxable trading income we have seen so many adjustments will be there okay so many adjustments will be there then we'll say what is the taxable total trading income expenditure is deductible for tax purpose may not be charged in the statement for profit and loss expenditure is that is deductible for tax purpose is it may not be charged may not be charged in the statement of profit and loss expenditure what will happen they are they are, they are giving some uh, they are giving some advantages tax advantages is it a, there is deductible for tax purpose okay there some de they are deducting the for the tax purpose what will happen that will not be charged in the, the automatically will not take that into consideration is it a, what if we will not take that we ex ex expenditure that is deductible for tax purpose may not be charged to profit and loss account the one which are deducting if it is not chargeable in the profit and loss account then we have to deduct it from the accounting profit is that i will keep it is the very easy way to understand with respect to the matrix is that with respect to the matrix what we have to do we have to add we have to add we have to deduct is it we have to add we have to deduct what it says if it is the first word rule is it right the first rule what it says it has to be the first rule is expenditure which tax law prevents from allowable the expenditure which which tax law prevent from being allowable deduction tax will not permit for a deduction okay tax law prevents you from a deduction that amount it has to be added to accounting profit trade in income may not be included in the state trade in income if any trade in income is there you have to add back to that accounting profit see first first and foremost we have to be very very clear here okay this is the accounting profit is it this is the accounting profit this is the taxable profits is it this is the accounting profit this is the taxable accounting profits if you have they mean any what will happen you will have profit before tax and profit after tax we are talking in terms of this one we don't have anything we'll say that yes we have to pay tax we have to pay tax is it we have to pay this much tax 5% tax we we will have the bill in that we will have all the thing but what will happen in taxable profits what will get we will get some reliefs we get some deductions is it there so the what the message what they want to say what they want to say is accounting profits and taxable profits are different is it that is the simple message they are giving okay that is the simple message they are giving fine now what is the what is the way we have to make the tax adjusted trading profit expenditure not allowed see this is very very little bit little bit focus okay expenditure not allowed for taxation purpose we should not deduct we have to add back 
expenditure allowable for tax purposes is it expenditure allowable for taxation purpose expenditure allowable means it is for taxation purpose it has to it is considered we have to add it Exp taxable trading profit not credited in the accounts if any taxable trading profits not into we have to add it. in in this case you are, if you have noticed it what they have mentioned they have mentioned something zero also is it they have mentioned expenditure allowable for taxation purpose we have to mention it as zero <coughs> okay and i told you in the from the beginning even for zero they will give you some marks they will be marks is it now what are the things we have to deduct expenditure not charged in the accounting profit is it allowable for taxation purpose you have to deduct income included in the accounts okay income included in the accounts it, it, it should not be part of the it is not we get the total income is it right here what we have to do we have to deduct it that is not taxable as a trading profit any capital allowances is it any capital allowances it is to it is this is chapter 7 next next chapter we are talking about the capital allowance is it right we, when you are purchasing the assets okay when you are purchasing the assets they will give some rebate they will give some reliefs okay they will give some reliefs okay there are some conditions are there for the new asset for the old asset like that is it right? those are those those allowances should be deducted while calculating the tax adjusted profit fine this is is a we call it as okay we call it as ttp tax adjusted trading profits okay tax adjusted trading profits are you clear about this understand immediately i i cannot i cannot i cannot make it a present that you you have the thing subject to its application then only we will understand okay subject to the application only we can understand the above what they say the above perform i suggested it will help you to obtain full marks in this question alternatively you can present workings in a single column they say the tax examination team has confirmed that question requirement will specify the figure to start what is the ttp they will normally be net net profit figure from the statement of profit and loss account and they will adjustment should be listed in the order in order to get full marks in addition to the adjustment we should also show all items which do or do not require adjustment it indicates that you have to mention it by what zero that these items are allowable it is not necessary to add any explanatory notes to your answer is so don't don't make any explanation before considering the uh, state adjustments two important points need to be emphasized we are only calculating taxable trading profit only okay taxable trading profit the fact is of the income is it right it it just means that it is this is not taxable this is, uh, is uh, the fact that an item of income is excluded in calculating tax adjusted trading profit does not mean that it is not taxable it just mean means if you are not showing here don't think that it is it is going to be it is not taxable it will not come in this segment okay it will not come in this trading income in chapter 4 rental income is taxable as property business income and comes in the income tax computation as a separate source of finance they are giving you a reference is that in deciding where they where or whether or not an adjustment is necessary the principles of commercial accounting will unless apply overridden by tax fine okay no problem okay this is for the given the explanation this allowable expenditure is the most common adjustment is that this allowable expenditure is the most common the following are main examples you will expect to see in the examination The expenses not incurred wholly and exclusively for trading but the general use to follow in deciding expenditures allowable deduction fine wholly and fine expenditure may be disallowed because it is too remote for the for the purpose of trade we cannot identify 
that it is directly related to trade. It is for more than one purpose and one of them is not trading, is it? It is for more than one purpose, it is not for the, and one of them is not for the trading. Then it is, it is going to be, it is going to be as a disallowed expenditure. Is it? Disallowed. What remoteness and duality. Expenditure is regarded as being too remote from trade. It means it is not for trade purpose. Then we should not take that into consideration. If there is, there are two, two things are there. One is for trading and one is for non-trading. Then also we cannot fix the things. A self-employed trader was unable to eat lunch at home and claim extra cost of eating out of tax, tax available expense. It was held that expenditures was not allowable. Is it? A self-employed barrister was refused a tax allowable expense for expenditure of black clothing necessary for. It is held that the expenditure has been for her personal as well as the professional needs. When expenditure is incurred for both trading and non-trading purpose, a detection can be claimed for business use proportion. Proportionately, how much is for business use? How much is for the private use? It can be provided, we can identify separately. This is particularly relevant to expenditure on cars. Where business will have, you are using the cars for a private mileage as well as for the business purpose. Okay, appropriation. Appropriation are the withdrawals of funds for the business. Is it right? And such disallowed expenses. If you are using the funds for the personal use, withdrawal for, for funds from the business, a profit extra rather than the fine. Uh, the most expenses are interest paid to the owner on capital invested. Is that salary drawings of the sole trader? Any private element of expenditure to the owner's cost telephone. Appropriation of the withdrawal of funds for, from a business and as such are disallowed expenses. These expenses are disallowed. Is that? These expenses are disallowed. Is that? See, the, very, very specifically they are, they are putting the things, okay? What it says, Jim is self-employed solicitor. During the year, they have drawn how many? 20,000 miles, car expenses. We have done the, the, the same rule we have done previously, okay? Now we will apply the rules as it needs. Each working day, he is driving from home to office, which is 10 miles away. He worked five days, 50 weeks a year, a week. Drove 1,500 holiday, okay? 1,500 holiday. But the rest of the year, his wife car was used for private journeys. Jim wife owns her own car as a not involved in the gym business. Get him understand the things. Jim is a sole trader. Okay, he is a self-employed. He has how many kilometers he has brought? Twenty thousand miles. Okay, is that how? What is the amount? It is ten thousand eight hundred. Understand the concept. Each working day, he is how he how many weeks he are working? Fifty weeks. Is it five days and fifty weeks? What happened? What happened? 1,500 miles he drove for personal basis. Is it? He has drawn, driven for a for holiday. Is it? For a holiday. Other and other times he has used means how much? 1,500 miles for holidays and the rest 18,500 is for what? It is for the business official use. Is right? It is for an official use. What they say, see the things, little bit carefully, okay? They say that gym expenses are according to his proportion of mileage. Travel from home to work and back is classed as a private mileage. So gym's total private mileage is how much? 6,500. 10, is it right? 10, 10 into 5 into 50 weeks. Is that 50 weeks into 2? It comes to how much? 6,500. See, you are traveling from home to, it is a private use, okay? It is a private use. And how much he, he is saying? Plus 
प्लस वन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड फॉर हॉलीडे पर्पज इज इट प्लस वन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड फॉर हॉलीडे पर्पज इज इट राइट इज इट वन थाउजेंड His business mileage is therefore how much you are using business mileage thirteen thousand five hundred. Is it thirteen thousand five hundred? Now when you are using thirteen thousand five hundred, fine. Thirteen thousand five hundred. Proportionate you have to take proportionate. How much is allowed and how much is not allowed? How much he is paying? He is paying. He he said how much he is paying? He is paying how much? Ten thousand eight hundred. In ten thousand eight hundred, we have to divide how much is for the private and holiday, and how much is for the business. Is it how much is for the business purpose? That's what they have done. Is it this is for the business purpose, and this is this is allowed. When it is say allowed, it is for business purpose. When it is disallowed, it is going to say that it is for a Private and holiday. A small adjustment, okay? A small adjustment is linked to you. Are you clear about this? Yes. Now, what is the second one? See the thing. You can do on your own, okay? Sheila is business running her own advertising. Her husband Richard was given given up work to look after their daughter who was born three years ago. Until 2003, Sheila employed a part-time specialist typist who paid 4,500. But but the typist left, then left, and Sheila Sheila could not find suitable replacement. Richard therefore agreed to do Sheila typing at home. During the year, Sheila paid Richard a salary of how much? 10,000. Is it right? See the thing. Very simple. I don't want to. I am not going to take much time on that. How much Richard is paid? Richard is paid how much? Richard is paid how much? Ten thousands. Okay. But actually, what is the typist salary? Typist salary is how much? Typist salary is only four thousand five hundred. Okay. Four thousand five hundred. How much is the excess? Excess is five thousand five hundred. Excess is how much? Five thousand five hundred. This is disallowed. This is allowed. Is it? This is disallowed. This is allowed. That much only. What is the probable? Explain the probable adjustment in calculating. Okay, you have to mention. Is okay? it Richard's salary? How much? You have to mention. We have to write Richard's salary is how much? Richard's salary is ten thousands. Okay, to appear to be excessive. To okay? be to be excessive. Is it normal salary? Normal salary of typist how much? Normal salary is how much? Normal salary is four thousand five hundred. Is it that is allowable? Is it within brackets when you are saying four thousand five hundred? This is allowable. Is it five thousand five hundred? Five thousand five hundred is excess excess salary, and and it is not allowable. Are you clear about this? Yes. Okay. They are giving all the rules, rules, rules. They are putting the rules as much as possible. Okay. Very see, see interest on borrowing such as business. Accounts overdrafts, credit cards, higher purchase is an allowable trading expense. Okay, anything related to trading, it is allowable. Anything not related to trading, it is not allowable. Just what that much simple we should understand. For incorporated business, late payment interest charged by NCMRC 
or a late paid income tax or capital tax is never allowable. And likewise, repayment of interest paid by HMRC is not taxable. For unincorporated business, late payment interest charged by HMRC in respect of late paid income tax or capital gain tax is never allowable. Is it means if you are if you are paying tax, you cannot have the advantage of that. Okay, you cannot have the advantage of that. Capital expenditure expenditure on capital assets is not an allowable trading expense. Is it capital is more than one year? Okay, it is not allowable. Okay, an expense in the for depreciation loss on sale of is also disallowed. Is that capital expense? The distinction between revenue allowable and capital disallowable are sometimes referred to as asset expenditure. Is that asset expenditure is not allowable? Okay, asset is not always clear. This is especially the case when deciding expenditure in terms of repair to an asset or an improvement. If you, are, if you are repairing an asset, it is a revenue expenditure. If you are making an improvement, it is a capital expenditure. Is that they are talking about so many things? Is that the cost of initial repairs to make asset usable is dissolved? The cost of initial repairs to uh, asset usable. The cost of initial repairs is allowed if an asset can be put used before any repairs. Once repairs has been once has the, the cost of in, in order to make asset use, usable is disallowed, okay? Initial repairs. Is that initial repairs is disallowed. The, if the asset can, once it has, once the asset has been used, is that it is a trading, it is going to be part of the trading, okay? The cost of any is allowed if the asset has put into use before any repairs are carried out. Is that if you if the moment you use it, it will be a revenue. Before you are using, it is going to be a capital. The treatment of restoration cost is another disputed area to be allowable. If it needs to be proven that restoration renews a subsidy part of the asset. Is that if you are if you are renovation, you are doing the renovation, restoration, okay? Is that that is a this if it is a it is for the trading purpose, it is for the entire asset, or it is only for specific asset, subject to condition. What they say, the replacement of factory chimney was held to be the repair to the factory, where it is deemed as a renewable replacement. Separate asset is listed as disallowed capital expenditure. If you are changing it on an annual basis, on a two-year basis, is that sometimes what will happen? You are changing the some spares at every two years. Is it right? Sometimes you will change the spares at the end of every each year. You have to make the differentiation between, we have to make replacement of the old sand with a new one at a football club was held as an expenditure on a new asset and thus it is a capital expenditure. You are, you, the, the stadium, okay, the stadium people where they sit, okay, with a new one it is going to be called as, because they are not going to change it every year. Once in a while they will change. Capital expenditure of plant and machinery structures is disallowed. These are effectively form, they, these are effectively form of depreciation allowance. Okay, we will see in the next chapter. Next chapter is another interesting part. Rental lease charges in respect of leased cars are allowable. Is it right? Again, the rule applies. Where carbon emission exceeds 50 grams, 15 percent of rental lease is disallowed. Is that if the if the CO2 exceeds 50 grams, then we have some rules. Is it what they say? Ammonial enters a leasing contract for a car. CO2 emissions 58. Okay, if it is 58 more than 50. Okay, disallowable expenditure. How much? 8,000 into 15. It is. This one. When they are talking about subscriptions and donation, if it is for professional purpose, it is allowed. It is. It is not for professional purpose. It is not allowed. 
professional subscription normally deducted since they are made wholly and exclusively for the purpose of trade. A charitable donation must be must have three tests: exclusively for the trading purpose, reasonable in size in relation to the business means what is the amount, and made to the registered charity it is allowable. Okay, if the donation is, if the donation is disallowed, the payment was made to the charity, the taxpayer can claim relief. Subscription and donation to political parties is disallowed. Non-charitable gifts are not allowed except set below. Entertainment gifts are disallowed. Okay, the only exception for expenditure related to employees provided it is not incidental to the entertainment of the others. Is that entertainment expenses is not allowed. Gift to employees are normally treated as allowable. Okay. Care must be taken as the gift may fall within the benefit rules. Chapter five. Assess employers, employee, employment, income. We will see what is the reasons are there. Gift to customers. Is it? There, if this cost less than fifty per fifty pounds, it is allowable. If if it is not a food, the gift is not food, drink, tobacco, vouchers, exchangeable is then it is allowable. The gift carries conspicuous ad advertisement of the business, then it is only allowed. Is that means you have the logo on the, on the. That is the reason. Whenever you are giving the gifts, you put the logo on the gift company logo. The cost of the gift does not meet the conditions is disallowed. If the total gift to one customer is exceed 50, in the full cost of the item is disallowed. Not just the excess, full amount. Okay, it is more than 50. Gifts to business samples, business to advertise the goods to the public are allowable. So many. In order to determine legal and professional charges are allowable. Uh, to as a general principle, expenditure income for the purpose of trade is allowable. Legal fees for trading debt charges incurred in defending the title of non-current trading assets, where expenditures of capital nature, it is disallowed. Fees associated of new non-current asset will add to the asset, not here. That is the accounting rule. There are fee and other costs obtaining long-term debt finance. They are allowed for the sole trader, for the sole trader only. The cost of registering patents is allowed. The expenses to renew a short lease is allowable, although the legal expenses for initial granting a lease are not. So the following are allowable. They are following are allowable items: impairment losses and allowance for receivable. Right of debt is allowable. Note that the recovery of debt previously written off is taxable. The allowable is the recoverable of impairment of activities according to the fine. Similar, the reduction of an allowance is taxable income. The following are disallowed. The right of of a non-trade debt. To a customer or a formal employee is not allowed. Okay, is not allowed. Fine. What they have mentioned, see the things. Is that they have said that they have statement of profit and loss account. They have given the accounting. We are calculating the taxable. Okay, we are calculating the taxable. What trade debts return off? Okay, see what they are asking. Calculate the adjustment regarding the Catalina's tax adjusted trading profit. Is that we, which we have to add back, which should not be add back. Trade trade debts return off. Here it has been said somewhere. Is that the write off of the trade debts is allowable? Is that the, so? That is the reason they put zero. Is that it is allowable? Is that loan to the formal employee is not allowable? Is that just now somewhere it has been written? Is that the uh, is disallowed? Okay, this disallowed. That rate of a non-trade debt or a loan to existing customer or a former employee is not allowed. Is that it is not allowed? Loan to a supplier not allowed. Movement in allowance for impaired receivables is it? They have said here in the previous case is it? They have said here the, the right the recovery of debt debt previously returned form is taxable. Okay, 
and allowance for the recoverability or impairment of trade receivables. It is calculated in in accordance with the UK gap or IFRS is allowable. And what it has been mentioned here, fine, movement of is allowable. Trade debts recovered, is it past debt is taxable, is it current debts are allowable. Is it loan to a customer recovered, is it right? It is not allowed. Now you understand the one which you are going to work it out if you are having, we have to be very, very specific with respect to these terms and conditions. Okay? To be allowed, trade de debts write off must be respect for a normal trade debts. The recovery of such debts already written off is taxable. These are the points which we have to revise whenever we are doing so. Is it okay? Okay.